everyone welcome back to my channel so if you watched my last video where I made bridal bouquets you might know I'm wearing the exact same thing and um, that's because I filmed the intro and outro on the same day and I'm also wearing the same thing in the actual like you know flesh like con flesh that is an awful word and um, in the actual content of the video I'm wearing the same thing in both videos too because I filmed all of that on one day because I did all of the bouquets and buttonholes and everything at the same time out of ease but in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I made our groomsmen and groom boo um not bouquets they don't have bouquets I'm going to be showing you how we made the groomsmen and groom buttonholes and um, this is the groomsmen buttonholes that Eric and his groomsmen will be wearing I think that is so pretty like look at that I'm so happy with how that turned out and um, I also made some little buttonholes for family which are similar but different you know like so they're not you know like the groom's party but they're for family members of both of us so yes I'm not showing you exactly how to make this one because you know they're made in pretty much the same way but if you want to know how I did this then this video is for you it's nice and easy and simple I don't think this video is going to be too long in showing you how I did it but just look at it it's so pretty it's gonna look so cute on the suit I will leave links to everything I used in this video and where I got them from if possible down below um I did buy a lot of this stuff I know I mentioned this in my last video but I bought a lot of this stuff like a year ago and we just didn't do anything with it um, at the time because of the pandemic but now we're doing it and it's so cute and yeah I hope you enjoy this video so let's get on to it Hello, so if you watched my last video which was about the um, bridesmaid bouquets yeah, if you haven't seen that I will leave it linked in the eye and I'll leave it linked down below if you want to go ahead and watch it. I'm filming this video separately to my intro and outro so if I look very different, well you can't really see me but if I look very different that is why. Um, today we're doing the, how do you pronounce it, like boutonnier slash buttonholes and um, these are what our groomsmen are going to be wearing and these are super easy to make i mean they're not exactly the way they look and um, that a professional makes them for example the back i wouldn't say the back is perfectly done but um in my opinion no one's going to say that it's going to be um you know hidden it's going to be clipped in and all they're gonna say is this front bit and I'm pretty happy with that to be honest and it saves us a lot of money paying other people to make it so here's two that I already made um, and basically you just want to get your fake flowers um, like in my last video I will leave everything linked down below and um, the shops I used for example um, you want your fake flowers you also need some twine or your choice of material that you want to wrap the bottom with so some people would use hessian or some people might want to use ribbon um, I'm using twine you want some floral tape you want um, to buy some buttonhole pins you can get lots of different types of these so you can get the one without the back um, you can get ones that have little crystals on them and such but I'll leave these ones linked down below I've got some in gold and some in silver you also want some wire you don't need this as much as in the um bouquets but you do need some and you also want some wire cutters and of course you want to set out all the flowers that you plan on using so as you can see here for the uh groomsmen i decided to match them with the bouquets um as much as possible and i also know that my groomsmen are going to be wearing navy colored suits um, so I didn't want the flower itself to be navy, I wanted it to you know, stand out. So one rose, one small navy. I'm also going to use a little bit of baby's breath and I've also got some of these gold glittery um, ferns that goes at the back. And oh, I'm missing my lavender, so I need to grab some lavender that I need to cut up. Tiny bit of lavender that I'm going to cut off. So for the um, fern, I'm having a little look at how far down I went on the stem before and I'm just going to, yep, yeah, I went down to there, I'm just going to remove these bottom leaves but use the stem as part of the support for the rest of the buttonhole and <laughs> I'm kind of wishing I didn't go for glitter now because glitter literally gets everywhere but it does look really pretty so yeah 
So I've took off the rest of that. I'm then gonna put the rose where I want it to be. So on here, I can see that I've got the rose right there. And then the little blue rose. This is honestly like the easiest thing you can ever do. I feel like this video is gonna be the shortest DIY video ever. Okay, and then I've got the lavender at the back. Oop, drop me rose. And then my baby's breath there. You know, easy peasy. Hold them together. Have a bit of a play. Get my wire. Okay, then I'm gonna have a little look at how tall I've got it and I'm gonna snip them right where it needs to be. Perfect. After you've used your wire and you've snipped the bottoms, get your floral tape. Um, I mentioned this in my last video, but in case you haven't seen it, the floral tape isn't quite sticky, but it sticks back on itself, so just kind of wrap it around and stick it back on itself. I go all the way to the bottom and then I go all the way back up to the top again. This is the point where you want to play around with it a little bit just to make sure it is in a position that you want it to be in. So for example, I realised that that white rose could be pushed down a little bit and then I can just cut off that excess there before I start sticking on the twine. There is glitter everywhere. Okay. Then you get your twine and then glue gun and a little dot at the top to begin with to start wrapping it. bottom and once you've finished wrapping the bottom you want to work your way back up again okay so this is where it's a bit different for a boutonniere I'm not gonna glue that top bit on yet I'm gonna leave it like that I'm then gonna take the pin I'm gonna slot it through the back just from the very top I'm probably gonna have to show you up close what I mean. I hope you can see this okay, but I have basically slotted the pin. So I've slotted the pin through the top, but left some of it out. I'm then gonna glue between the pin and the fern. So it's secure there, so it's not gonna, you know, wobble like that, it'll stay still. And then I'll also glue over here, glue gun here, and wrap the twine around it and make it secure. If that makes any sense at all, who knows? And leave it to dry. There's a which one here, same as this one, and this one. And I've got three, and now all I need to do is make one more, because there are four. I have to think though how many there were. There's one groom, three groomsmen, so we can be the groomsmen's one, and I'll make Eric's now. So that is pretty much how I make these. Like I said, it's actually quite a short and easy video. Um, I feel like anyone could do this, and it also saves a bit of money 
and it's a fun thing to do I really enjoyed it and um, as I got towards the end of making them Eric ended up coming downstairs and helping me with them as well so we got them done in double time so yes if you like this video don't forget to leave a like down below and um, subscribe to see more content if you end up making your own buttonholes or you have done before and um, please let me know I would love to know what flowers you chose and what it looked like and if it really did help you save money so yes don't forget to comment down below and I will see you in my next video bye